I think that I don't think it will be solved in the foreseeable future. There's not enough evidence to convict anyone. It's been 20 years. We still have no one, one who's a key suspect. I don't know if it'll, it will be solved. So the challenge is, well, how do we move forward? How do we let this go? It's been in the press for 20 years. She's still on the cover of magazines. Such a bizarre set of circumstances. I mean, it's a six-year-old girl. She's a beauty queen. Her Santa Claus is a suspect. It's Christmas night. They're from a wealthy, prominent family. It's just sort of a strange case. But also I think it's innately a story about a family, mothers, brothers, daughters, sisters, and I think we can all understand that dynamic. So there's something personal and universal in all of that. We knew we wouldn't solve the crime, we did not set out to make a true crime film. We set out to make something about why people are obsessed with this case, about how a community that how a crime leaves an imprint on a community and how a community deal with all these unknowns. Yeah, I don't want to guide anyone. It's very much a film about perception and individual interpretation so I want everyone to make their up their own mind. It might tell, teach you a little bit about why you why we're all so obsessed with true crime. I mean there's all these elements in there. Why we have these fascinations with these cases and can't let them go. Um, definitely there's lots of theories in there about who did it. So I mean it's got it's working on a few different levels and it's trying a few different things.